Right, check this out. Welcome back to a brand new video. As y'all see, we got something in the back. I can't show y'all too much, but just know this is a sponsored video. Y'all probably like eBay. Where you going? So at 12 o'clock, I was supposed to get a new link put on. I'm a sponsor, and then I was supposed to get my suspension fixed. I'm gonna let y'all know exactly what's going on with that. And not talking about the steering stuff. Y'all keep saying it at wheel alignment, but wheel alignment is not off. The last video when we did the modifications to the car, I looked at my front tires. My front tires are not uneven. I think this wheel has to be calibrated to the car. I have a line that is broken for my adaptive suspension. Y'all know SRTs and Hellcats came with adaptive suspension. Way better than like the regular suspension that comes on like regular scat packs and stuff. During the accident, the wire ripped. So ever since the car has been like very bumpy, like riding like a shiker, like, it is so bumpy, it's crazy. So we are going to be fixing that. I have the piece. It is a long story behind that piece. It was so hard for me to obtain. Damn, they got scammed, but we ain't gonna talk about none of that. So right now, instead of going to pack a punch first, he just told me him and the guys are going out to eat to breakfast. So I'm like, shit, I might as well come too. So we finna head to breakfast first. Me Laudie at breakfast and then head to the shop. So we probably like five or six minutes away. This guy's going slow as hell. What are y'all? I'm gonna see y'all when we get to breakfast. I don't know what I wanna eat. I had a hot pocket this morning. A little hammer cheese hot pocket. So I don't know if I can get grab something like y'all right, know this Laudie BMW. I done had this pork right here and smudge myself in there, but we about to walk on in here. Right there. We've been here the longest. One hour later. So we just finished breakfast. Poor YouTuber mode. Breakfast was good. Y'all see I got me a little bacon, egg, and cheese, ock, the ocky way. This might be like the first time me and Loudy has ever been like back to back. And damn near, I can't say life because I'm sure we done drove somewhere in the 300. But as far as this car, definitely the first time y'all as y'all see we are pulling up to pack a punch performance the seatbelt going off but y'all gonna have to just deal with that shit no faking us with scrum <laughs> y'all know i just be playing i don't want y'all to unsubscribe for real god damn right, so we here check this out i want to show y'all what i was talking about with the whole suspension stuff i got the part the part is on the car but i'm gonna go inside the car and actually show y'all I don't know if it'll pop up or not. It usually only pop up when I'm driving, but I mean, I guess we can, we can see. Um, I'm gonna start it. I can't even start it up because he just put the garage down. So basically, I know any gas. I would come to like SRT pages and like I would try to put the car in like track mode and then like it'll say like some weird stuff saying the level can't be changed for the suspension and steering. So the act of dampening, oh, right there. Y'all see that? So the active dampening has been out. So the car's around like a little bit stiff. When I say a little bit, like a lot of it, like striker vibe. So we are gonna be able to fix that today with active suspension. That's why I got the other little traction light on. So I'm damn near gonna be happy. this gonna ride like, like a brand new car again. This motherfucker been ride like a whole striker. No way. Uh, I used to say something for steering. So after that, everything should go away. The other traction light should go off. I shouldn't have to worry about that. And the suspension should be 100% good. First things first, I was gonna say I put on lotion today. God, whoa. Well, God damn. So the car is filthy, but we are going to put the new front splitter on. This front splitter is being sponsored by Super Auto USA. I'm going to have a 10% off code. I'm going to put that right here somewhere. If you all need anything for front lips, diffusers, anything of that nature, for even more than charge, they got stuff on there for all different types of cars. So go down there, link inside the description, go buy something with the promo code. Helps y'all save 10% on any purchase like it snowed and everything bro it's a striker at this point y'all gotta just realize what's going on no way but that is crazy when that came from snow i would never have my car just like that just to have it like that the tesla didn't just like that it's already being jacked up and then i'm gonna show you all the wires and stuff i got in place on this side it's pretty much gonna be easy just take the wheel off it's back there. i can't really show y'all but I'm going to show y'all in one sec. Because me jacking the car up, I can jack it up. I just do not trust myself using jack stands yet. Like, it, it might fall. The times I did have to take my tires off for the 300, 
I left the car jacked up, no cap. 12 seconds later. Just like that, I got lugs off of that. He got the front splitter out. Now, I'm gonna use my good hand and see if I can take the tire off. Ugh. Put it right here. So all y'all saying, eBay, you need a wheel alignment. Hey, Loudy. Bro, so they been saying I need a wheel alignment. So I've been telling them like my wheel is cool. It's cool, right? Well, it'll look a little weird on this side. I don't think so. Yeah, it's got a little weird on that side. Yeah. So you think it's definitely uneven? Yeah, but I, I ain't gonna lie. People have said it might gotta be calibrated. I didn't think it was like bad wear. As y'all see, we got the car up in the air. We got the wheel off. I need a, a Torx T25, and I need something a vice grip because they say this little top bolt. Right up here, it's hard to get to because the shock. Look at this shit right here. It is a little screw right here, which is a Torx. It is one right here. And the harness goes on top of it, just like it is. This little three pin piece plugs on in, and that's basically all it is. All right, so like I was telling y'all, this top piece gotta come off. This bottom piece gotta come off. And then boom, we're not gonna have enough room. So we're gonna start at the bottom first, get this unscrewed. And then it should come right off. We can do it with the top, and then that should be it. Already got it pretty much unloosened. I'm gonna go up under here. Boom. It just fell out. It's cool, we don't need it. We got another one. This should come down. And then for the top, like I showed y'all, it's not gonna like fit, cause the angle. So we got to take the flathead, pry this little part off. It's kind of hard with one hand. There it go. Pry that little part off. Boom. I'm gonna take the bit out of this, put it on the vice grip, and then we should be good on this side. We kind of ran into a little problem. Now, the setup we got with this and the bit is just still too big. So we just need the 225 by itself because it's not gonna be able to do it. So uh, he's doing the splitter. I'm gonna wait for him to get done with that and then we'll come back to this right here. So that's how I went up there. The wire from here to here got ripped. Then you come around this way. This the this the new wire I already kind of put right there. This got split. Like it got split so bad. I haven't had any electronic suspension in the longest. Like when I tell y'all we riding real strike. How did I have y'all in regular mode twice? But it's gonna be kind of filthy under here. But splitter coming along. What's oh, damn near already on? As y'all can see that part. And then once you do this part, we're gonna be good on that. Waiting on the. T25, let's take a look at how the front splitter is coming along. If I didn't get sponsored for this front lip, I don't know if I'll get another one because it was not cheap. I need y'all go down there in the comments. Go see if they got something y'all want. Like I said, the discount code is going to be 10%. It's going to be on the screen down there. Go shop. Let them know I sent you by using discount code if you buy something from them. The front splitter is the about the best. Pack punch performance. Everything he's going to have is going to be on the screen. The link is going to be in the description. Right there. Give him a call. Give him a text. Serious inquiries only. What you think, Seb? Right, right. Right, right. I can't ruin this one. I'm going to put everything on the screen for the sponsorship once again. They got me right. And then I believe they're going to send me a diffuser next month. It's been out of stock like, whew, for like two or three months. So big shout out to Super Auto USA. Like I said, the promo code is gonna be on the screen. Go down there, link in the description. See right here, this broke off. So, yikes. Fuck. And then uh, it's another wire that was broken. You, you probably need some light up under there. It's two connected pieces right here. That's gonna plug in the top and the bottom. Then like the core is already plugged in. So that's all we got pretty much do. And hopefully, the ESC is back working. This has been crazy. They want y'all to pay a thousand for a new shop instead of getting one of these. So y'all might have to get one of these off of a uh, junk car, a part out. I was able to get blessed by getting one of these and I'm paying a thousand for a new shop. So y'all, this is the other piece that came off of this. So y'all can see in the crash, I don't know what it did, but it ripped it like my mechanic was trying to make it go back together like pigtail it and like connect it back somehow but the wire that came off the pigtail was so short and clipped so short 
it just wasn't even able to do anything with it. So that's why I had to get another one of these pieces. So everything should be A-OK -okay now. And we should be all good. Pretty much it. We can throw this away. Jump. Boom. And then we need an oil change. So if y'all don't know, I'm going out in town next month to the YouTuber event. It's like April 13th. So lock in. Got class. I'm working with everybody. I'm not charging nothing. So if you want to do a video with me, leave me on Instagram, DM me. Let me know. I'm probably going to forget who I locked in with. So please DM me when y'all see me down there. Because I'm going to be in North Carolina. For the whole weekend, I might go to ATL for a day or two. Even though I'm not getting paid to come out and nothing like that, I'm gonna have a flyer right here on the screen. That's gonna be the event I'm gonna be getting. And then, I don't know, we might go out and have some fun after the event. We gotta just see, and the tires on here are damn near cooked. So we're gonna finish these off maybe next video. And then, grab the new tires, fresh, brand new set of tires for the road trip. So. I'm excited, man. We're going to have fun. We're going to be lit. It's going to be a legal slide pit for us to slide and have fun. Loudy the mechanic of the year. So we got that on there nice and snug. Everything is pretty much good and kosher. So the ESC should be good. Now all I got to do is slap the tire back on, put the lugs. He didn't even zip tie it. W Loudy. If y'all ain't coming to him, I don't know. Like, why do I gotta keep it to y'all? Y'all want to spend your money, spend it in the right place. Don't get waxed, don't get taxed, and don't get drained. No fake. How that sound said? I'm prone on like my life depend on this. <laughs> I'm about to put the wheel back on. I just talked to Tom Tom Goon. Let me come get an oil chain, and I'm gonna be able to come to the bottom, watch him pull the drain plug because we're like 200 miles off, so we don't need it. But we need it for content. So we get the oil change because, like I said, we're going out of town next month. So I can do this now and get that out the way. And then, yeah, next video, we should be getting new tires. And then finishing these off and roasting them off. So y'all just got to stay tuned. If you haven't left a like already, go leave it. I'm going to see y'all. I guess when I leave here, I'll let y'all know the suspension is back right or not. So as y'all know, Pack and Punch Performance is like the biggest sponsor I got. So. If y'all remember with the 300, I had his sticker on the car in the back. So he cleaned it off the back window so we could put the sticker on the car just like that. We pulled it off and we are stamped. I am in the courts of the pack of punches. Now you know what we gotta do next set? We gotta go get branded, bro. Lottie, we're gonna get branded with the logo. Just to show you how much we love the company. So anybody that come to him, you gotta get branded. We pretty much done. Got the ESC fixed. Hopefully, we're going to get in the car and go on a test drive. It should be perfect. The front splitter back on. I had to tighten up the wicker bill because it came loose a little bit. I might get ready to leave. Got to go get the oil changed. And y'all just stay tuned. When it was broken, it used to say like service suspension up here. So let's cold start it. Or warm start. If it don't pop up, we're good as green. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. Okay, it didn't say it. It didn't say it. It didn't say it. So, okay. Oh, shit. That scared me. So, we should be able to go to suspension. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna grab some gas and grab me a little bath. Now, it is still saying the service suspension. Hopefully, I just got to drive for a little second and the car get used to it having it again. We got to grab some gas real quick. We got like a 30 minute drive out to like Dempsey Bell in this area. We got to get an oil change on the big 392 it is pretty much do like i was telling y'all look at the front lip the front lip is back on the car shout out to super auto usa all the info is going to be the link inside the description the logo is going to be on the screen and all that promo on the screen use a discount code save some money and go shop a few minutes later we are coming up off of the exit i don't know how good y'all can hear me but we're coming up off the exit and then uh yeah so i didn't drove the car like 30 minutes out here I can't really say how I feel about the suspension. I feel like it's a little more stiff. I don't know if it's because it's a, a track mode, but the, the shit came back up on the screen again. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to give it a few days and see if the car got to relearn itself. I might just unplug the battery when I get home and 
and go from there and see what just happened. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Guess it's gonna have to do with the other wire that's ripped. I got a traction light on, so maybe I need a wheel speed sensor. That might be what was unplugged and ripped down there. So I should have been looking at that, but I wasn't knowing. I thought this was going fix everything I need to be fixed, but I guess not. I don't know, we have to see, but we aren't too far from the oil change place. My God, Ty gonna get me together. He gonna let me come out here, come to the bottom. I know y'all never see him look like up under the little oil change spot. So we're gonna get some content of him removing the drain plug and everything of that type of nature. So we just pulled up to the back and we know I had a downshift. <laughs> Just had to downshift a little bit, tad bit, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna pull on in here. Fuck, we got splitter. We got splitter. Okay, okay, we good. We good, we good, we good. We good. Fuck, imagine if we fall to the bottom. So go ahead, pop the hood for him, and then we gonna go to the bottom, so we can pretty much see how it's all done. The car is so freaking dirty. How y'all day going today? That's good. I'm just recording myself. Excuse me. Yeah, the splitter, damn near, was about to scrape that part right there. That whole little cajun system. So we gonna come down the stairs. Oh, these stairs kind of crazy, gang. What up, though, folks? So. Did you already pull the plug? No, okay, 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 okay. Uh, where, the, where we at? Oh, what up, no, fuck, fuck, nigga, I'm out here. <laughs> and this shit feels sketch. I'm about to fix this for you. Oh, shit, okay. Boy, can you see why you right there? Am I missing a wheel speed sensor? Walk us through this. All right, first of all, we gotta Push up this piece of shit. Okay. Grab our 13. Okay, okay, tool rack. Move that like that. It's the east side shot. I couldn't do this. I'm too tall for this. I ain't gonna fake. All right, cutty. What if it's sparkling? <laughs> uh, so what is that like? Eight, eight quarts, ten quarts, something like that? Yeah, I think it was seven. Seven. Seven and a half or something like that. Oh yeah. It ain't too bad. Ty, right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Good maintenance. So he said it was really meant for like seven k, but I don't know what we put on here. Maybe like five or so. Probably. So this like the oil. Yeah, that's just about the tank. Okay, okay, okay. Tight shit. My guy, tie work on cars. Big heavy duty. You gotta show them how you use the oil filter. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's the thing to tighten it up. Let me get on faster, man. Bro, ratchet, ratchet. Ratchet, ratchet. Okay, show them some. Bro, this shit is greasy. You gotta always put it in by hand. So you won't strip it. I took the tire off earlier. I told him that too. He's putting the oil filter on. And I'll tell y'all, it is so greasy down here. Like greasy as hell. And I ain't gonna fake. If you tall, this ain't a job for you. This is like for like a five, three, five, four is. So if you anything like that, this be perfect. Leaving the dungeon. We're gonna come on up stairs. It is greasy. This grease probably ain't gonna get off my shoes for a while. Back up top. You said start it, right? Sheesh. Then we're gonna go through the little essential mile stuff. Then we're gonna be in and out. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Get up out of here. We all good. Gucci in the Gucci. So we just left that. We are gonna go, I wanna get a car wash. So we're gonna go 
and probably get a car wash real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here just chilling. I like being out here in Belleville and you know, like the MC area and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to cruise around. I think we're coming up off of like downtown-ish area. I know y'all hear the seatbelt noise, so I'm gonna just tune back in with y'all in a second, but shout out to my guy Ty for getting the SRT, right? They said the oil looks so good because oil is good for like seven or eight K and I was like maybe five K in or something like that. So grab your mobile one. It was like 120 bucks. Don't be cheap. Especially got a high mileage car. Make sure the motor gonna last long. Do not pull no bullshit ass all in the car. I heard her boyfriend walk, he, she just pointed at my car. She think I'm cute, she wanna have sex. <laughs> Pull it up to the car wash out here. I came out here a while ago getting a car wash. But we out here today though, we outside. And yeah, man, we outside, folks. It feels so good to be out here. If you know, you know, it's great business. Let's see how filthy the car is. Let's wash the car. Let's go to soap first. Damn! This boy is filthy. To, I have some stuff to clean the brake calipers, but I don't even got it. So we're going to wash the car off with soap and water. Go around here real quick. These brakes, when we took the wheel off, it is crazy dirty. Hopefully they back shining. I'm just hoping it ain't really no high maintenance to the white calipers. But we'll see. It look like it's all coming off. I'm about to hurry up and do this real quick, and then I'm gonna see y'all after we done with this. We got the car all washed off. It looks so good. We got the front splitter on it looking so good and aggressive. We're gonna get a diffuser real soon, and then we're gonna go like side skirts, aprons, and stuff like that. But let's start this baby up. We're gonna pull it out, get a couple pictures, and a little bit of content in front of the car wash. We're gonna get up out of here. This boy looking right. Purple headlights, white calibers. Man, this boy look way better than has it ever have looked. But I'm gonna take a couple pictures and stuff. And then the next day. Y'all check this out. We are back with a brand new day. So the car feels better like driving wise. <laughs> but uh yes, yeah, so we are missing one more piece. Now I remember it was another piece. I'm gonna put it up on screen if I don't feel lazy editing, but it is the active dampening sensor. So once we get the sensor, oh, I already got the sensor from the car crash. It still should work, I'm hoping, but we need the pigtail that goes inside of it because I'm gonna show y'all when I get back home, I left at home, I, I could just wire it up, but the way it cut was just too, too short. So. I gotta go up here and go to the Dodge dealership and order the pigtail for that. And then have uh, my mechanic rewire it and stuff like that. I've been on forums and Facebook groups and asked, and they say it's pretty easy, but mechanically I don't touch none of that shit. No way. <laughs> Look at the bay wash. But yeah, but we're on the way up there right now to Galliana's. The order, they said if I get there before four, it'll be here tomorrow before four or something like that tomorrow morning you gotta see what time it is it's like a 14 minute ride to galliana so i'm gonna see y'all when i see y'all we're gonna order this part because like i gotta get the car straight now if i'm going on a 10 hour ride to north carolina i'm not driving a car that feel like it's a striker like all that extra bumps and like no but the suspension already just feels better and then we'll get the wheel alignment like it's coming. Now y'all been on my ass, like, God damn. And then we bought a tire, so I'll put up on some supporters. I believe Trey and T. So if y'all watching this, I appreciate y'all. I came and like lit the block up. So I'm gonna probably put the video footage on the screen. Right. As y'all see, I had to roast the tires off. So I had got a tire from him and then like, y'all know we're going to the legal slide pit in North Carolina to slide. So we had to get some tires. So these tires need to be roasted off. Like I said, y'all can get a slide video very, very soon. I need to practice before I even go down there. I want to go down there on the first set. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. It is a, a gloomy ass day. It's supposed to rain all day today. As y'all see, is a damn water puddle right there. 
So it did rain a little bit. So we just cooling. We just cooling. And this kid kind of murdered out. And then we damn near need a full tank of gas. So I'm gonna go to the Sam's Club, most likely on the way back. So we are now about to be pulling up. And now I'm just sick they don't got it in stock. If they had it in stock, I could easily get this done today, like no cap. But it's cool though. Fuck. I'm supposed to go in right there, but we can go in right here. Oh my God, don't please don't read me. Don't run in there. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if it's just me, but I hate having to turn in like off of main streets. I feel like they gonna just tear my shit up. But they got a cat Durango. They got some, they got some little whips out here. <laughs> but we gonna park the SRT right on. Uh, Yo, it's crazy. I, I used to come with the dealerships when I had the 300. The old 307, they don't take you serious. I pull up with some shit like this, then they take you serious. Like, no cap. Especially tomorrow trying to get a car. Watch, they probably, so many people about to swarm me. Just wait. I'm gonna record the whole thing. When I pulled up, I noticed this Chally Shakedown right here. It got like the wide body cat rims. That look hard, but we're gonna go in here real quick. Big TRX. Sheesh, that motherfucker huge. Look at the front splitter holding up real good. Damn, that's how they greet you when you got a, a nice car versus like some bullshit. How you doing? What's going on? I'm looking for the park center. Parks. Line that all the way outside. All right. I know. I guess not, but we'll see. You know, let's see what they see. What they working on. Damn, Ram bands. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. You actually just want to keep going this way down the hall to ride that show, Joe. All right, thank you. I'm thinking that's where we going. They got hats and shit. I don't want that. <laughs> that's crazy. Send me money, send me money, send me money. We are just getting it. It will be here tomorrow sometime. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh my God, that is crazy. So the guy in there who drove the TRX said it has to be calibrated or something. I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but I don't think so. So we're gonna just try and see it through. But look at this slim body cat. Slim body cat is far. I ain't gonna lie to you. This looks so damn big in person. Damn. He basically told me it has to be calibrated, but I don't know what he's talking about. I think the route I'm going with is pretty good. I think we're going to be smooth. That part should be in here tomorrow. I'm going to go grab this tomorrow before I probably go to work. 21, you're just going to cut me off. Let me give you some promo then. God damn. But yeah, so that should be here tomorrow. And then the next video should get that all set. If not, I'm just going to come to the dealership, drop the car off, and let them do what they got to do. Because... This shit gonna irritate me. I ain't gonna fake because the traction light is still on. So that's the piece I feel like I'm missing. I'm gonna trust my gut because when the car got crashed, my mechanic gave me every piece that was like broken off or, you know, anything of that nature. So I feel like after this, we should be all Gucci. Um, I'm not sure how long this video gonna be. I'm gonna just see y'all when I see y'all. Thank y'all so much. Appreciate y'all so much. Y'all stay up, y'all stay blessed until the next one. I'm gonna see y'all again. I ain't gonna grab gas, so I take out and get gas or what? And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, gave me chills Gang go off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill